Hi guys, welcome back to Keys Grills. Today, we are doing fajitas, but we're gonna be using leftovers. It basically means I've got some leftover steak. We have got some peppers, we've got some onions. As you can hear, the music's playing. I've been uh, bowling today with one of my closest friends, John, and uh, I feel a little bit happy days. So first of all, let's get these peppers chopped up. Peppers and onions, all we're gonna use. The sun is shining in Bournemouth. Life is good. We've even got a beer on a go. Cheers, happy days. We're in the next spot. I'll take five minutes. We are going to have ourselves a lovely fajita. I'm just going to go through it and check there's no fatty bits in there. Because I've said to you before, I'm not a lover of the fat. A bit of fat in there, that is going. Everyone says to me, sometimes you take too much care. Well, have you ever had a fat bit of steak in your, in your feet that I've done yet? No, you haven't. You know why? Because I fucking take the time to get rid of the fat, that's all. Got a little bit chewy on the end there, don't want that. Job done. We're ready to hit the fucking griddle. Let's rock and roll, baby doll. Let's warm this steak through. Bit of onion, bit of pepper. All I'm doing is warming it through. It's only a question of using up the food that we had left over. Oh, 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 it smells wonderful. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. So leftover steak, peppers, onion. Trying to teach you fuck all. I'm just trying to show you what I do, all right? And this is a real easy way to use up excess meat. Now, some people may say, yeah, fucking hell, well, we don't have any excess meat, and because I fucking eat it all. Well, if you cook as much meat as I do, believe you me, you have excess meat. So you've taken one dinner, you turned it into two dinners. Tortilla on there. There's a lot you can do in three minutes twice. Remember that, all right? Give that a quick flip. Watch your pinkies. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Next stage, very simple. Sour cream. As I said to you, you can add seasoning, do what you want to do. it. I'd already cooked that steak with seasoning on it, so it really doesn't need any more. Salsa. Now, my daughter showed me how to do this. Turn it around that way. What you got to do is fold that bottom up so the arse don't fall out of it. Flick that over there. Flick that over there. Oh, oh it's going to be messy. And then we are there. Big bite, guys. Cheers. Very simple dish, guys. Making use of what we had left over. Steak the heaters, done in three minutes. You cannot be upset with that. I promise you, if someone served it up to me, I would not be unhappy. And guys, remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons. I'll see you next time.